Hey folks, so this is super exciting. This is the OnePlus 7T. And as OnePlus is saying, it's the combination of all our design engineering efforts and crafted for those who, like us, always strive for the very best. Ah, uh, they sure know how to make a box, don't they? OnePlus logo, nothing on these sides. Uh, there is a, a bunch of iMAs at the bottom. A little uh, OnePlus 7T action on the side here. Very nicely done. So let's open this up, shall we? Are you ready? Dun, da, da, da. Oh, it's very sealed in there. Let me see if I can help it. There we go. Boom. Nothing in here. First, we've got a divider with some paperwork. Ooh, super long paperwork. Nothing else in here. So there's the usual invitation letter from uh, Pete Lau, I presume. Let's open this up, shall we? I'm not gonna read it, but I'll leave it on the display for you. It's the usual letter, the same letter they always put in here. So there you go. Uh, then we've got some Never Settle stickers. Uh, what looks like a instruction manual. And then we've got the safety regulatory stuff that nobody cares about. But what you really care about, and I know you do, is the phone, which is right here. So let me try to get it out. That is the phone. And yes, there's some iMAs on the back. So let's look at this in a minute and see what is in the rest of the box, shall we? Yes. Let's see, how can I remove this little divider? Uh, I guess there's no way to catch it anywhere, so here we go. It's cardboard. Ah, there was a little tab, I just didn't see it. Okay, so it comes with a translucent case, as usual. That's always nice. These are really high-quality TPU cases, uh, which is what I love. Uh, OnePlus doesn't skimp. They don't turn brown or yellow over time. And then there's a little OnePlus divider. I guess the SIM removal tool fell out. It's right here. It came off and uh, fell to the wayside. So let's put it back. There we go. Then we've got a Warp 30 charger, and this is a new Warp 30 technology called Warp 30T. It's the same adapter, but it does some uh, more optimizations around charging inside the phone. So it's a little faster. Uh, as you can see, USB Type-A on one end, USB Type-C with a little condom on the other end. Uh, very typical of OnePlus, uh, so that's exciting. And that's it for the box. There's no headphone adapter, no earbuds, but obviously you're going to want to use some of OnePlus's uh, Bullets Wireless, for example. They're smart. They want to sell you the accessories as well. All right, let's take a look at this phone, shall we? i see if I can slide it out of its um, thing without having to open stuff. There we go. So there is the phone. Let's see if the iMAs are still in the back. Yes, they are. So let me peel that off so I can properly show you this device. Here we go, folks. This is the new OnePlus 7T. And it's got everything we love about the OnePlus 7 Pro in a slightly smaller case without the pop-up camera and a Snapdragon 855 Plus. So in a nutshell, that is what you're getting. Isn't it amazing? You're getting the 90 hertz display, but it's only 1080p. You're getting an 855, but it's an 855 plus. Let's turn this on and have a look at what the display looks like. There's a teardrop notch here for the 16 megapixel front facing camera. And um, obviously an in-display fingerprint sensor, as you'd expect. And there's no waterfalls here, no falling off the edge like is the big trend right now. So that's super exciting. So let's have a look at this. Uh, so 16 megapixel teardrop uh, front facing camera. It's a smaller teardrop notch than the OnePlus 7 and OnePlus 16. Uh, even less bezels than before. You have a bit of a chin, but 1080p, 90 hertz display. Then we have uh, three cameras in the back. Let me go through these cameras for you real quick. So there's a main camera. It's a Sony IMX586, 48 megapixel sensor, pretty much the same as the OnePlus 7 Pro. It has an f over 1.6 aperture and OIS, of course. Then there is a 12 megapixel telephoto lens with one micron pixels and f over 2.2 aperture 
And it's unclear if that has a YS or not. I don't think it does. That's definitely a uh, minor bump down from the OnePlus 7 Pro. Also, the OnePlus 7 Pro had uh, kind of a three times optical zoom, not a two times, although it was cheating a little bit. Then we've got a 16 megapixel ultra wide F over 2.2. Uh, of course, there's uh, still a very large battery. Instead of 4,000, it's 3,800 milliamp hour. But remember, it doesn't have to drive a full on quad HD 1440p display, only a 1080p 90 hertz display. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, no pop-up camera since it's in the teardrop notch. Uh, as mentioned, in display fingerprint reader, new Warp 30T, faster charging. So let me walk you through the, the, the phone a little bit. On the top here, you don't really have anything, a couple of antenna bands and a secondary microphone. On the left-hand side, you have the volume rocker here. Uh, on the bottom, you have the SIM tray with no micro SD, um, USB type C and a speaker. Now this has stereo speakers, uses the uh, slit at the top here and uh, for a secondary speaker. So stereo speakers, really cool. And on the right hand side here, you've got the very famous mode selector from, uh, from OnePlus. So that's you select silent, vibrate or ring. And you have the power lock key, which uh, doesn't have any kind of uh, ridging or anything. And that's it. Uh, in the back, obviously there's a flash in that camera pod. I really like this design. I think it's a very, very clever design. This phone feels really well made and pretty dense. Uh, but again, it's smaller than a OnePlus 7 Pro. So it's smaller, slightly better processor and a slightly worse telephoto lens is basically the nutshell. Uh, so look, you know, we don't know the pricing at the time I'm making this video yet. So uh, it's gonna be less than $600 or what I hear. So at that price, I think it's pretty good no matter what. So yeah, check it out. Um, yeah, lovely. And this color is a bit of a gradient. I don't know if you see it's darker at the top and uh, shades down in color. Um, I do have the color choice. There's a, a gray color and a blue color. This is obviously the blue color. Not sure if uh, there's anything else uh, coming. You know, OnePlus likes to release custom colors later on. So that's it, folks. This is the OnePlus 7T. Uh, we've been waiting for this one for a while and it's going to be more affordable and pack most of the features of the OnePlus 7 Pro uh, in a slightly smaller package. So this is very, very exciting. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please stay tuned for more. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, tell your friends, click that little bell icon to get notifications. And remember, this is all a compliment to the Mobile Tech Podcast at mobiletechpodcast.com. If you want to join the podcast and subscribe, please do. It's on Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, Pocket Cast, Overcast, TuneIn Radio, Spotify, everywhere. I highly encourage you to uh, listen to the podcast because that's where my thoughts and ideas and opinion on this uh, phone will be. So I'll see you next time with another video. Cheers, everybody.